Hello, everyone. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the new free uh, podcast um, app. Uh, anyone can download it. It's on Android and iOS. There's um, a lot of creation tools that you get to use for free. It gives you your RSS code, and you can use it on your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you. Spotify, Apple Podcasts, many more. Uh, you make money from your podcast with no minimum leadership. Everything you need in one place on one app. Don't forget to download yours today, now. Hello, Nico de Mayo. It is May 5th, 2020, 11.15 p.m. And it's Cinco de Mayo, and it's also Taco Tuesday. It is one of those days of the week that it is one of those days of the week that it's a holiday, and it's hitting on the right day, a Taco Tuesday. Oh, man, you definitely got to go out there and find out who has the best taco. Uh, may it be a taco truck on the border, somebody like Taco Bell, somebody likes uh, 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 Taco Cabana, somebody might like, I don't know, Taco Tico, I, I don't know, Fuzzy Tacos, uh, what else we got going on out there, you know? Maybe you got a friend that makes the best tacos, like Yvette off of Baby Boy. She's going to get in there and she's going to cook, she's going to clean, she's going to make them tacos. And today is definitely that day. And tacos, it's already Taco Tuesday, so tacos are usually cheap. So, hey, you, you have no reason not to get you some of this fine cuisine. Oh, man. It don't got to be a taco. It could be a burrito. Or it could be a quesadilla. Or it could be anything that is from the La Familia culture of the Hispanics. Because this is their day. And, like I say, feel free if you're old enough, all of my over 21s out there, you know, keeping it grown, keeping it grown, grown and sexy, uh, with some nice uh, mojitos or nice uh, Coronas or Mardello or Dosequis or, oh man, my favorite, some margaritas. Like I say, a happy hour, that's where it's at. So, Show up and pull up for some nice. Uh, you could probably go get it for about three dollars uh, somewhere on a happy hour tip. So tonight is the night we need everyone to jump on it when it comes down to Taco Tuesdays and Cinco de Mayo. Now, I'm definitely gonna be out there. Um, with all of my ungatos and sombreros, yeah, you know what I mean, because <laughs> I'm that dude, and I'm definitely looking for some nice mamacitas and señoritas. And hey, if you that girl, we're gonna have to make it muy caliente. Ah, <laughs> you feel me? You feel me? Hey, ain't that right, amigos? <laughs> Already, like, let me know what's going down today. Shout out to all of my Mexican brothers. Let me know. Uh, after a long day of work, it's time to chill. Gotta have you a cold one and a nice meal. So, like I say, but seriously though, if it wasn't for the Hispanic culture. They are like the best at what they do. They bring in jobs and do jobs and do work that a lot of us aren't willing to do. Uh, down the street from my house, we have a tire shop. They are some of the best in town. Um, I can't think of the name of the tire shop, but if you're from here, uh, the one uh, down the street from Church's Chicken on New Austin Road, um, uh, there, you know, that's that's where you go to get you some tires here in Texas Um if you need your car fixed, 
everybody knows who Pee Wee is over off of Robinson Road, over there by the post office. And it used to be Shockley's, but now it's called Escavars. And a lot of people don't even know the name of it, but they just be like, you know, put my car in the shop. And that's usually where they go. He is one of the best in town, you know, when it comes down to it. And I've been taking my car there uh, for years. You know, every time something goes wrong, he can pretty much figure it. There's one thing he will do. First, he's going to find out what the problem is. And then he's going to find out what the parts are. And then he's going to tell you what the labor is. And, 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 hey, that's, that's pretty, well, he's, it's, hey, the cut and dry, he's gonna, it's gonna be, it's gonna be fair, you know what I'm saying, he's, he's gonna, it's, if he say he can fix your car, he will fix your car, if he say he can't fix your car, he's like, I can't do it, it's just, just what it is, it's like, you know, honesty, so, I dig that, you know, uh, if you want some air in your tires, you got, the, the, the guys up the street, you know, I, I go to them pretty much, you know, because uh, once you get some tires from them, uh, especially like I get used tires, you know what I'm saying? So if I get some used tires over there, it's, it seems like it lasts a lifetime. Like, you don't have to really worry about getting any more tires after, um, you know, after the fact. So yeah, you know, because I put I've gotten tires on some cars and they took me where I needed to go. You know, I could go pretty much anywhere in town, out of town, uh, on the highway or wherever I needed to go with those tires. They're real reasonable, you know. Um, I can't really say. I know that if you go over there for about $40 on the high end if you got $40 you can get you a tire you can probably negotiate it down uh, depending on what kind of tire it is and how good or bad but a, a good tire you know $40 good tire um, I've even gone over there and for like $100 tires all around if they had a set of the tires that I was looking for so yeah which Ultimately, it might be a thing that I hear do here, uh, here recent, you know, here in the near future or whatever. Instead of trying to go get some some brand brand new tires from uh, discount tires, and like I say, I've uh, I've always wanted to learn uh, more Spanish. You know, I am I. I feel like the teachers that I had uh, in high school didn't really, you know, didn't really push the issue. Uh, my my first year Spanish teacher, she wasn't um, wasn't certified. So, you know, man, where I come from, they say that if the teacher isn't you know certified or accredited or whatever, uh, they can't really fail you. So you're pretty much guaranteed to get an A in there. So. Um, that kind of that's cool for the moment you know but in the long run you're thinking to yourself like I I kind of want to learn this you know so I don't know maybe at some point I'll get a, a, Rose, a Rosetta Stone and figure it out so that way when when it comes down to it and if they're speaking I can you know be able to understand what the hell they're saying I feel that way about a lot of cultures, may be uh, Mexican or Spanish uh, speaking, or even the French, Japanese, Chinese, some of the main uh, Korean or whatever, Russian, uh, some of the main uh, languages or whatever, Italian, uh, even uh, Hindu speaking. So I feel like if you cover some of the um, foundationary so because like majority of the world has like a Spanish dialogue to it you know um, like the southern hemisphere more or less is like um, you got Mexico got Colombia and although they're different 
uh, Spanish is, because I, I want to be like Spanish is Spanish, because, you know, um, if they say they're from Honduras or, or, or Colombia or, you know, these are all different cultures, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's just like um, uh, if I said that I was from Vietnam, they speak in Vietnamese. If I said I was from Korea, they speak in Korean. Um, but if I said China, Japanese, you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's all different, they're, you know? They, they to us they you know you can't probably you probably can't even tell if I um, lined up a bunch of Asians and put them on side by side you probably couldn't tell that they're um, you know just, you can't tell you know sometimes you can't tell them apart you know you have to have been around the culture long enough um, and that's just uh, just what it is you know now it's just you know pure ignorance because you just don't know you know um that's just like if someone spoke um yiddish you know some of y'all don't even know what that is you know and i want to say yiddish is like that's that's what uh the hebrew uh speaking hebrew or something like that or whatever and no yiddish i think that's that's like like the uh, who is that Romanians or something like that and I come across a guy one time and he was like I'm a gypsy yada 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 I was like well, okay what what does that mean you know what I'm saying like what are you <laughs> like you somebody tell me they're a gypsy and I was like the guy was like, I'm a gypsy I was like well like what race are you that, that you say you're a gypsy you know what I'm saying uh, I could be a gypsy if I was um, you know outcast or, or you know not or misunderstood or you know lived in the outskirts or you know like nomadic or whatever the case is you know got your stick to your own uh culture you know so i, I was like what that mean he said he's romanian or whatever and i think romanian i think it was like he was explaining to me if they spoke yiddish or whatever and you know i was like oh, okay i got you and that's a lot of times, you know, like you, you'll see it at the, uh, let's say they have something going on at the United Nations and they have like the sign language or whatever, and they have like all the different translators or whatever. And you would think that if you were part of the, part of the United Nations or whatever, and it's not like you're meeting all the time that y'all Man, one of y'all's objectives would to be to learn the, uh, you know, culture. You know, what I'm saying if you were an ambassador to the whole nation, the whole world, that you'd be part of the UN, that you would, um, like one, one, you know, throughout the year, you know, like one uh, few weeks or whatever, or 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 whatever the case is, y'all are all learning. Spanish, and then you know, all y'all learning English, and then all y'all are learning uh, African, and then all y'all are like, you know, like we'd all be on the same page in the same book, or whatever. If, if, um, the ambassadors and translators and stuff were, I don't say forced, but like, it, it, we should always be, always, always, always be learning, like. Um, the times where we're doing nothing, and I like myself, you know what I'm saying. But I'm not, I'm not on that level, you know. I'm not part of, trying to be part of the UN or you know certain certain level, or whatever. I'm in, I'm in a comfort zone, and I'm not trying to really uh, make some sort of uh, drastic major change. But if you are, say, a president or a senator or a governor, you know what I'm saying? If you are an elected official, you're high up ranking and you have like what the decisions you make affect millions, then yes, you know what I'm saying? You should you should not stop going to, you know, be educated. Uh, like if you get a job, let's, let's say being a president is a job, being a senator is a job, but you're you're working for the benefit of, of the people, you know, um, you should still be uh, getting educated, you know, like you're only that. 
you're only there for a max as a president a max of eight years you know so in that time as a president you should be to learn some different languages you should um, come out of the, uh, the White House knowing how to speak Spanish, French, Chinese, Japanese, you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> All the key uh, languages or whatever, you should, like, by the end of, if you're, by the end of your first two years in office, you should come out being able to speak the basic dialogues that are out there, you know? Um, like, you don't, you don't have to even... It's not about uh, perfecting it, but there are college students is that they go a summer abroad to uh, to different countries, and that's two months. You, you know? So if a summer abroad is... You're going doing that two months or whatever, and you're supposed to... By the time you come back, you're supposed to be able to you know, been able to observe their culture and their language or whatever and know how to speak whatever, you know, culture that you observe is language. So if you're in office and then, you know, you're supposed to be the better of us, you know, maybe even the best of us. You're supposed to be better, you know. That's that's why we're electing you. You feel like at the end of the day, like, oh man, this person is better than the norm you know he, he's leading the free world he's the leader of the free world and he represents us as a country and it shouldn't be you know that's, that's it you know like oh man i i should not i should not come across college students high school students and maybe even middle school students that know more languages than you or just you know I, i'm tired of having um like when, when we elect the presidents or whatever, they should have to pass certain tests. You know, they should have to be of a certain level of intelligence. You know, like sometimes I feel that I don't know where they get these Republican candidates from. Like the last couple of Republican candidates that we've had in office, I don't even think they can read. Um, they're they're making up words and it's about shaking hands, you know, and 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 money and power. Like why certain jobs require certain levels of education. I can't go out there and apply and get a job and bullshit my way through it. Why should a president be able to do that? I, that's what I don't understand. Like it just come across as like this really ignorant, really stupid, and like you, <laughs> blue bloods. You know, it's like what 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 are you what are you guys doing? It's like I really look at it from a standpoint of measuring out um, from. I'm just go with the '90s. You know, a lot of people. Uh, if you weren't born in the nineties, you probably wouldn't. Even, are probably not old enough to vote yet. So, uh, I'm gonna just uh, start with those who are old enough to vote, or who have already voted. You know, um, a couple of times. Like if you were old enough to vote in the uh, 2008, then you know, okay, cool. Those are the people I'm targeting right now. Oh, that's who I'm talking to right now. Because some of y'all. Um, don't understand politics or are you know just just too young to really get what's at stake so I'm gonna say this when Clinton was in office he had a great plan he was smart and all that he was very charismatic um and everybody liked him even when he was doing what he was doing or getting what he was got uh, which still has nothing to do with his his intellectual status and states. And then you get old George in there, and a lot of times nowhere to be found, always lost in, on, on the ranch in Texas somewhere, which it's hard to say because 
I'm a Texan. So it kind of makes us all look bad. Then, you know, it's just his his react time was horrible, you know? Like, well, what should we do five days later? Well, let's take him some water, you know? Um, there was so much drama that happened during the 2000 all the way to 2000. Seven, eight, whatever, nine, or whatever. However, however you want to uh, look at it, because I guess the official, uh, see, uh, the official presidency doesn't really start until like January twenty first. So it would have been January. Yeah, it had been January twenty first, two thousand one, all the way to. January 21st, 2009 when they passed the torch. So, you know, the eight years that he was in office, so many bad things happened. Like, oh my God. You know, it was just horrible. It was, you know, yeah, recessions and bailouts and, you know, and then, you know, the Democrats get in there. Obama, Obama, Obama. And we have to clean it all up. Like, where is this coming from? You know, like, what college you went to? <laughs> Harvard. Oh, okay. And then we had so Bush there. What what did, what college you went to? Yeah. I don't know if anyone knows. It doesn't really matter. Even if, even if you do know, you know what I'm saying? I'm not here to do any research or whatever. It's just the principle, you know. Um so yeah. I just don't get it. And um, so much of of 2009 till till 2017 um, like just look and, and just look at how things were how good things were during the time frame he was in office. I mean, so much better. Immediately once he was elected, gas prices dropped. Um, And it's just so much, so much better. I don't know. People were getting jobs now, which which is a big thing. Like, people, like, they always speak on pulling yourself up from with your bootstraps or whatever. Well, the issue with that is some people don't even have boots. You know, so that would that would that would be great if that philosophy still worked. Cause once you get to a per- perpetuating standard of my family's rich, everybody gets boots. You you come in the family, you're like, hey, you come out of the womb with a silver spoon. And you know you pretty much have everything because they've got already already figured out. They know that uh, with this amount of money, I can help you grow to 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 this, you know. And then you know um, I can show you how to invest in the stock, like show you how to buy real estate, you know. Meanwhile, the pull yourself up from the bootstrap still generations later still trying to first some people are still trying to get their boots to pull themselves up from the bootstraps or whatever because I'm not saying it's a a generational curse thing because you still got people out there who still um, aren't you know and still don't have people that have graduated from college or they're the first ones or first one to go to college like that's still a thing I remember when I first went to college it was still that was still a thing or whatever, but now um, th- th- these new new generation of uh, of, ch- of kids or whatever, they're they're getting like spoiled stupid. So um, I don't know if they're gonna have the same views about things that we we value. Well, I've been going on long enough about uh, that. <laughs> which started to become more political than anything. But it is still Cinco de Mayo. It is still Taco Tuesday. And it is still uh, plenty of time to get out there and get you something uh, to represent for the culture 
Uh, shout out to all my senoritas and mamacitas. And like I say, feel free to get out there and get you a nice, strong margarita. Uh, go along with your uh, uh, Mexican cuisine. And like I say, Cinco de Mayo Taco Tuesday. And we're out. Thank you.